What's up everybody, Pixkit Express here. I'm going to bring you a tutorial of the software that comes with the HD PVR2. I've had a couple of people, a couple of my subscribers, a couple of friends on my friends list ask me, how do you record commentary with the software that came with the HD PVR2 device? Okay, the first thing I'm going to show you I think is very useful is the High Podge Personal Logo Inserter. I'm going to open this up and I'm going to show you what it does here. What this allows you to do is it allows you to take a logo and put a watermark in your videos. What's good about the watermark in your videos is if somebody downloads your video off your channel and puts it on their channel, you'll definitely know it's yours because you have a watermark embedded. Now, in order to select a watermark, what you're going to do is you hit click Include Watermark, click Browse. It's going to bring up another window, and you go to find your logo that you want to put into your video. You can adjust the transparency. You can make it bright. You can make it dark. As you can see, it disappeared. I like my transparency right about here because it watermarks very good with the videos that I make. Now if you go over here where there's little red square boxes around my little logo here is my pig. I can take it and I can drag it around. I can put it wherever I want in the video. And what it's doing on the bottom is giving me a simulated look. Right here it says simulated look for whatever resolution size. Right now the resolution size is 1920 by 1080. That's a 1080p picture for me. Now once I have it set the way I want, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click OK. Now the software from the HD PVR2 is going to remember where you have that logo for your videos. Now the program that comes with the HD PVR2 is the AutoCraft Showbiz, which I have right here. I'm going to open this up. Please bear with me. It takes a minute and a moment to load everything up. Now in order to capture, you're going to want to click Capture. It, what's, what it's doing is it's getting a signal from the HD PVR from your PlayStation to the PVR, which to the software to the computer, and once that loads up, it's going to put a little picture right here. Ah, here it is. It's going to show me what I have. I already have a video selected in theater mode, which I'm recording my gameplay from. Down here, up here in the corner here on the left side, it says Source. That's my HD PVR device that I have selected. My input. Now, the PlayStation 3 only allows you to record through a component cable. They have a security feature in the HDMI so that way you can't record things. It's a DRM issue that they have embedded into their HDMI signal. Another thing I want to tell you is when you're going from the component to the HD PVR and the HD PVR converts it back to HDMI to your TV so that way you have the software on the computer and the television so you can record and play on your TV at the same time if you would like to do things live. Okay. In the format settings is all the settings for the HD PBR device settings. This has the software information, the hardware model, the driver version. This has settings for you to adjust the HiPodge H264 encoder. If you want to change the resolutions, the qualities, your ratio aspect, you can go 4 3, 16.9. Everybody watches everything in 16.9 full screen. A lot of stuff nowadays is widescreen. There's settings to adjust the video encoder, the bit rate, the peak bit rate, the bit rate mode, variable or constant, whatever you prefer. I believe the default setting is 7 megabytes when you first get the device. The lower the quality, the lower your video file size is going to be. The higher the quality, the higher the video size and the higher the quality your video is going to be. This also has a dynamic noise reduction. If you have noise in your video and you need to adjust that, this would be the place to adjust the settings, the static levels for the video of the issue you're having. Here's the version and the firmware version, the device settings, the audio properties. This is the audio input that you're recording from. I have mine set at 192 kilobytes per second. Stereo, I want my stuff in stereo. I don't think I want it in model. I'm just playing it off the left side of the speaker. The video properties, again, I can select variable or constant. I can change my bit rates right down here. Encoder output modes, and I can change my B frames. So once you have all of that set to your liking, you just hit apply, and then you click OK. The device settings, this allows you to change some of the device settings. Now please bear with me again. I'm waiting for it to load. This has more information about the device. The video decoder, this allows you to change the region. You know, for United States, the NTSCM or MJ is fine. PAL is, you know, for foreign over there, like Japan, you know, across seas. Lines detected 1080. I, that means I'm going to get a good 1080p signal from my 
PlayStation 3. The Xbox does allow you to record everything straight through HDMI. Um, I don't have any delay. I have a high speed HDMI cable with Ethernet. I don't get any delay at all when I'm playing and recording at the same time. This allows me to choose the file type I want. I can record into an M M2 TS file or a TS file. I choose MP4 because that seems to be the best, uh, fastest uploading rate for me. Down here at the bottom it says save format. I'm going to have mine set at MP4. Over here it says save to. There's a folder name there. If you click this folder right here, this allows you to browse your computer and save wherever you would like the device. Okay, now we are ready to capture with the Aurocroft Showbiz software that comes with the HD PVR2. What I do is I click capture first because there is a little bit of delay before you start playing from the TV to the computer. So what I want to do is to make sure I don't have too much of a delay. I'm just going to click capture, wait a second, then I'm going to start playing the video on my television screen. And it's going to start loading my video. As you can see, I'm only going to record about 30 seconds and show you a little bit that it's going to save into the edit it. There's a section or folders on the computer that shows you where you can uh, grab and drag your files, which I'll show you that momentarily here. Please bear with me. Oh, I got a little bit of delay. What happened? What happened? Okay, when you're done recording uh, your videos, you're just going to click stop. It's going to stop recording the capture of the video you're making. Please bear with it. I got my settings up pretty high so that way I have high quality video. Now that I have that, as you can see it's still playing. I only recorded about 30 seconds, but now that I have that, I'm going to close this out. I'm going to click this X, close this out. Now what it's going to do is going to go from capture to the edit section of this program. As you can see, the little video clip that I just highlighted and recorded from my PlayStation console is got a red box around it. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take this video, you're going to take that and drag it all the way down to the bottom. It says drag and drop here. You see that? You're going to want to add that right here. It's going to add your video if you want. You can play the video to make sure that that's the video that you just captured. I only got about 16 seconds of it, which is fine. This is just an example. Okay, now that I have that down here, I'm going to click Timeline. The reason why I click Timeline is it gives me all these other settings. Now when you're recording a commentary, you're going to want to mute that game audio because when you're trying to record with your, your microphone on the computer, it's going to probably overpower your voice. So what you're going to do is you're going to right click down here where the video and that audio is highlighted. You see the yellow box around it. I get this menu and I'm going to click Mute On. That's going to mute the game audio for the video that we just captured. Now there's a little trash can right here. This lets you delete selected clips. As you can see out here, I'll click this. And, you know, nothing's highlighting. But this allows you to delete whatever you have on your timeline. Next to it is a little microphone, audio recorder. You're going to click that. It's going to bring up this little window here right on the left side here. You see this here? This lets you choose the audio device, which is your microphone, the audio input. That's the master volume. And then you're going to save it wherever you want on the computer. Let's give that little file name. We're going to go example.com. That's what it's going to save the file name as. It's going to add it to the album and the audio section of the editing section of this program. There's a little record button right next to it. Now when you click this button, what it's going to do is it's going to start recording through your microphone whatever it is you want to talk about or commentate about the video you're making. Now when you click that, it's going to play the video so you can see right here on the right side of it the video playing and you can commentate it. So let's click record and see what happens. Hi, I'm Pigskin and this is my video commentary of a domination run. What's going to happen here is I'm going to capture that flag. I'm going to run through here. I'm going to run up the steps. I'm going to run around this corner. I'm going to go to this window. I'm going to knife that window because I don't like looking through the glass. Oh, I got it in my elbow. Okay, now what happened there is because I had a short video example it stopped. I ran out of capture video to continue commentating, but obviously you're going to have a whole video here and you're going to be able to commentate your whole entire video. I'm only doing this as an example. Now what happens is it saved that audio down here at the bottom. Now what you can do is before you 
produce this video if you don't like it you can always right click and delete that clip or if you like it you can head on to the produce section but what you also can do is you see this play button once I click play it's going to repeat what I was talking about in the video for my commentary and I'll be able to listen to what I was saying and if I like it I can move forward if I don't I can always delete this clip and I can recommentate it and redo it you don't always have to recommentate everything in one whole section you can always do it in sections if you want as well because you can take and you can move this around you see how I move that I move that to that part of the video you can move it around however you want now let's put this back alright now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click play I'm going to listen to it okay I actually like that little bit for a little example I'm okay with it I'm ready to move forward I want to upload this to my YouTube channel what do I do now pigskin okay what you're gonna do here is you see the section of produce you click produce okay now you're ready to produce your video so what I like to do is I click create file I like to upload my videos manually to YouTube but if you want you can upload the video that you just made in the produce section right to your channel and all you gotta do is go to your channel and adjust accordingly to whatever setting that you have monetizing or adding the description or whatever you would like to do so I'm gonna click create file this allows me to click format I click QTMV what that does is it converts the file into a quick time movie file YouTube recommends that you put it into a quick time movie file because it's the fastest for you to process it and faster uploading overall on YouTube when you upload your videos I'm gonna go down here to the section where it says quality and speed by default I believe it's at standard or low quality I want a high quality it's gonna put my video at 12 by 80 and 720 29.97 which is almost 30 frames per second okay so what you're gonna do is it says save to you wanna hit click browse and save your file wherever you want on your computer so you know where it is and then you click start now when you click start what it's gonna do is it's gonna bring up another window and it's gonna export the video file here once it's exported and saved to your computer you'll be able to upload it to YouTube and do whatever you would like to do with it now I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial these programs are very very limited okay I highly recommend that you get something like CyberLink Power Director or Sony Vegas which is a movie producing editing program it allows you to adjust the volume to the games uh, it lets you record your voice you can add cool effects you can make intros you can make all kinds of cool stuff with it and it's overall better editing features there's another program on the HiPods website that's in beta right now which they allow you to record your gameplays and you can record with the microphone that's hooked up to your computer and commentate your videos live if that's something you would like to do. I'll put a link in the description below to the other program. There's also a driver update on there. You can get the most recent driver for your HiPods Power Director or excuse me, your HiPods Power DVR2. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys and enjoy making videos. Thanks for watching the video. Hit that like button down below. Hit subscribe. I'll definitely have some more videos and commentaries and some more hooker pranks coming to the YouTube channel very, very soon. Thanks for watching and Pigskin is out.